Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Um, thank you for joining. Today, I wanted to talk to you about this fast break edge sander. Um, it's something I picked up a couple of weeks ago, and I seem to be using it more and more. Um, I wanted to give you a couple of pointers about it and, and point some things out and um, basically uh, give you a quick review. So essentially what this is for, it's uh, for what it sounds like is you, you, you sand both edges of a board at the same time. And it's perfect for like half inch and three quarter inch uh, plywood. And uh, I've been building a lot of stuff in the past couple of weeks, uh, some cabinets, um, things like that. And I, I find it quite useful. Um, so essentially it is what you see, you just uh, put a, a sheet of sandpaper, you cut the size down in there and it slides in essentially these ends unscrew the cap comes off this this black cap comes off you slide your sheet in there and you tighten it and you can do that from either end it's actually pretty good quality good ergonomics right and it's symmetrical um, And um, I quite like it. I think it's quite useful. Uh, it's it saved me a uh, saved me from having to kind of build. I, I kind of do basically just glue plywood, uh, glue uh, sandpaper on top of some sh sheets of plywood, not pieces of plywood usually, to uh, do my sanding. But this has been pretty nice for edge sanding. One issue I have with it is it came with uh, you know it came with a piece of sandpaper in in here. And let me show you what that was. It was this piece right here. It was a piece of 180 grit. And it was this unusually thick sandpaper, which is kind of what you need for this thing to work properly. Because what happens is these edges protrude a little further than the sandpaper, a piece of thin sandpaper usually. So you would actually write on this edge more than you would write on the sandpaper. So I've actually doubled up, if you can see there's one and there's two sheets to get that same effect. So that's kind of not great because I feel like they could have fixed that problem in the design process. So instead they gave us this sample sheet of sandpaper, which is extra thick. And this worked much better than my solution actually. Uh, I can't get it to work quite as well with any other kind of sandpaper. But even when it's not working great, it's still better than not having it. Um, so I'd say I'd subtract the single star <laughs> um, for just that, because I feel like that does take away from its functionality. But other than that, I do like this tool and it's a very good addition to the shop. Uh, and I feel like um, I'm going to be using it quite a bit going forward. I'll probably find a solution for that problem. What I'm thinking is uh, just a thin sheet of wax paper behind it so that the, the, uh, the it doesn't create too much of a thickness because I had a hard time getting these two sheets in there. And then it would also help it slide down a little better. So that's why I thought that's my thought right now. But again, guys, you know, uh, you're all creative and I'm sure you'll come up with ways to improve um, the capabilities of this tool once you have it with cutting down the sandpaper just the way. Or maybe you can find that same type of sandpaper that they had. I can't find that at my local home store. So, um, yeah, there you have it. Fast break. Uh, sand uh edge sander dual edge sander um uh, definitely a good good tool um i'll leave a link in the description for uh you to purchase this if you want and uh, i'd appreciate uh any comments you might have any questions you might have i'm happy to answer them all right see you next time